After an x-ray to check the joints back in position, he requires five hours of major surgery and by the looks of it, half the contents of the hospital's toolbox. This is one of the more extreme ankle fractures that we would see. I was awake all through the operation. I could see him doing it, look at it. They had metal plates and rods fitted. And, um, yeah, I was glad when it was over. I want to make sure that that wound looks OK and that everything's covered. The next day, it's time to find out whether his foot's been saved. If, if the wound doesn't look healthy, then it might be that we need to do further surgery to get, cover it up, which is quite involved. Gary's got to grit his teeth one more time. I'm trying to warn you best I can, there's no easy way around doing this, really. Oh. OK, OK. I'm sorry about that. Now all he can do is pray his run of bad luck has finally ended. Yeah. But the actual metal work and the, the broken bone is just under here, but it looks like it's all covered up, and that's great news. There's certainly nothing for us to do. I'm not saying that we're out of the woods yet. We need to basically give everybody a little time, let the swelling to settle, uh, and keep a, a close eye on it. Thanks to the speedy resetting of his bones by A&E, infection hasn't taken hold. Gary's foot is on the road to recovery. That's what we're here for, to save life and limb, really, I suppose. What's more, the surgeons have finally found the answer to the question that's bamboozled them the whole way through. How on earth did he break his ankle so badly by falling off a wall just half a metre high? His bones are very much more brittle than they would be normally. Um, and I think this is part of the reason why he's fractured his ankle, just falling from uh, such a short, small height. When bones are brittle, they lack calcium to make them strong, which means they're more easily broken. Possible causes include genetics, diet, and even certain medication. This diagnosis will have a big impact on Gary's life. I'm going to have to be very careful in the future. You know, jumping off anything or jumping up at anything, I have to be very careful. He's free to head home. And though the result of his fall was bizarrely severe, he can take some comfort from the fact that even without brittle bones, you don't have to drop that far to do serious damage.